Hi everybody, I'm Paul Higgins and welcome to the High Tech Adventure Racing Series. Today we culminate the series at Castaic Lake in Los Angeles, California with the championship. And there's two things you might have noticed about this High Tech Adventure Racing Series. One is camaraderie with all the athletes. Thousands of athletes have competed in this series over the last several months and one thing has come into mind and that is teamwork. The other is a team, Team Balance Bar. They have won five out of nine stops. We'll take you back to Phoenix, all the way through New York, as we get ready for the championship. At stop number one in Phoenix, Arizona, Team Balance Bar started their path of dominance from the get-go. Down in Miami, Team Fog Dog muscled their way to victory with an incredible display of strength. In Atlanta, Balance Bar proved they were for real by winning again, this time with a different woman teammate. In Dallas, Team Red Bull proved that there's more to adventure racing than just physical size and strength. In Portland, Team Endeavor showed that family unity could overcome all obstacles when pushed to the test. In Connecticut, Team Balance Bar once again displayed their prominence by disposing of the competition with yet another woman teammate. In the Bronx, it was again Balance Bar, setting the new standard for excellence with a come-from-behind victory with, yes, you guessed it, another woman teammate. The stage has been set, now on to L.A. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon here at Castaic Lake in Southern California where we get underway at 4.45 p.m. for the only evening race of the year. Today's race will consist of a 10 and a half mile mountain bike ride, a two mile kayak paddle, and a seven and three quarter mile trail run with eight special tests throughout the race. Before we begin, the teams are given their instructions for the first part of the race, orienteering. As the gun fires, the team set out on a mad scramble to locate their three control points. This is the first time in series history that an event begins with orienteering. Having it at the start of the race can seriously alter the dynamics of the event as it has affected every outcome of every race to date. The first team to finish orienteering will definitely have the advantage. Once the teams complete this task, it's a matter of physical ability and endurance to get them through this grueling course. The biggest advantage of doing orienteering first is that the athletes' minds are clear and focused as opposed to being both mentally and physically fatigued. Nature's Garden is the first to finish orienteering. Four teams then arrive simultaneously. Team Schwinn Polaris UK, BMC Software, Balance Bar, and Fog Dog. Okay, here we go. Nature's Garden has shocked everyone by finishing orienteering first. Remember, this is the team who has lost every lead in every race they have competed in during orienteering. Team Polaris UK has moved into the number two position. Fog Dog and BMC Software pace each other for the three and four spot. Team Balance Bar rounds out the top five, only seconds behind the pack. As the teams exit the tunnel and make their way out onto the mountain biking course, they have no idea that what lies ahead of them is the toughest mountain biking course in the history of the high-tech adventure racing series. Teams will face a total of over 3,000 feet of climbing during this 10 and a half mile course. A course worthy of a national championship event and one certain to test all these teams to the maximum. Nature's Garden continues to lead the way over one of the most difficult mountain bike courses the teams have faced all year. Nature's Garden. We have to survive the orienteering. I think everyone is just as surprised as Butch Allrich by Nature's Garden's orienteering performance. But be that as it may, they continue to set the pace. As you can see, the second through fifth teams continue to stay close. This part of the mountain bike course is probably the most difficult for the racers. The long, slow uphill climb definitely takes everything out of them. 
Which hurts more, the lungs or the legs? Oh, I have no idea. Team Women's Sports and Fitness has overtaken Schwinn Polaris UK for second place. How about this team? Jack Dunn is a national level expert mountain biker and Nick Moore has competed in adventure races around the world from Morocco to China. Sarah Ballantyne has captured the World Mountain Biking Championship three times. Team Cocker Adventures has moved even with Balance Bar as Teresa Allrig gets a hand up this breathtaking climb. So midway through the mountain bike course, Nature's Garden is still out in front, followed by Women's Sports and Fitness and Team Conquer Adventure. When we come back, we tackle the next special test. Wide leader in rugged outdoor footwear. High tech. Looking for something new to do this weekend? Grab a couple of your closest friends and get ready to experience the excitement of the High Tech Adventure Racing Series, the sport of the new millennium. The High Tech Adventure Racing Series combines kayaking, trail running, mountain bike riding, and most importantly, special tests. This three to five hour teamwork challenge is sure to test you and your teammates both physically and mentally. To find out where the High Tech Adventure Racing Series is headed next, check out our website at mesp.com or call for more information. Which bag seals tighter, Glad or this Ziploc slider bag? My Ziploc slider is dripping. Wait a minute. My Glad is double locked. The double lock green seal. Only Glad has it. Can I borrow a cup of water? Don't get mad. Get Glad. Realize that Bailey was getting a little frustrated with his homework, especially his reading. The best program I have found for parents to use with their child is Hooked on Phonics because the parent can pick it up and they can use it immediately. Within just a couple of weeks, we were definitely seeing an improvement in him. It's as if the light bulb went on in his child's head. Hooked on Phonics works. Give your child the holiday gift that lasts a lifetime. The gift of reading. Call now to order Hooked on Phonics and for a limited time receive our free holiday bonus. Call now. 1-800-ABCDEFG. The High Tech Adventure Racing Series is being brought to you by High Tech. Go places, do things. Salsa Tequila, the better tequila experience. And by Balance Bar, the complete nutritional food bar. As we continue along the mountain bike course, Nature's Garden continues to lead the way through a grueling, dusty, and extremely hilly course. Seems like they can add any more hills to this. What's that? <laughs> How come I didn't? Two chance to go. One so far. Oh, that's it. Women's Sports and Fitness is slowly closing the gap in second place. Team Cocker Adventures and Balance Bar have begun to distance themselves from the pack as they remain tied for third place. Nature's Garden makes their way down this extremely steep hill with caution. Women's Sports and Fitness capitalizes on Nature's Garden conservative approach to the hill and overtakes them for the lead.
Balance Bar is now all alone in third place, as Sylvia Corbett leads teammates Corky Ewing and Bob Scholes. Sylvia is competing with a back injury that kept her out of the New York event. This mountain bike chorus has taken its toll on her, but she continues to get it out and lead her team. Team High Tech has pulled even with BMC Software for fourth place, and as always, remains a threat. Now completely alone in first place, women's sports and fitness controls the course. Nature's Garden remains in second place, just minutes behind women's sports and fitness. Balance Bar continues along in third place. Come on, you got it. Let it go. Team High Tech has claimed sole possession of fourth place, just minutes behind Balance Bar. <laughs> Women's Sports and Fitness completes the mountain bike course and arrives at the transition area first. Then they move on to the next special test, the SOS Cargo Net. This is a brand new special test. The object is to get up and over the seven foot wall and cross the 12 foot cargo net while carrying one 50 pound sandbag per team. They must also contend with the U.S. Marines yelling at them. Somebody brings back the bag. Somebody brings back the bag. Next, they must go through the mud pit, which is 50 feet long and almost two feet deep. They must crawl on their stomachs under the yellow ropes again while being motivated by the men in fatigue. As women's sports and fitness exit the mud pit, they move on to the kayak portion of the race. Meanwhile, Nature's Garden arrives at the SOS cargo nets just moments later. Women's Sports and Fitness plunges into the water and sets out on the 45-minute kayak. Back at the mud pit, Nature's Garden makes their way through, knowing they are only minutes behind the leaders. After one third of the race, it's women's sports and fitness out in front, followed by Nature's Garden and Balance Bar. When we come back, we get a little slippery. Your television is missing the best part of cable. The premium channels, HBO, Showtime, and Cinemax give you an unstoppable exclusive entertainment lineup. See the hottest movies the way they were meant to be seen. Catch award-winning originals you just can't find on the networks. Witness exclusive sports events as they're happening. TV without premium cable, it's a crime. Two's company, but three's incredible when you have HBO, Cinemax, and Showtime. So call Cox today. Get the keys. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Go there. GreatOutdoors.com, where climbers lead online. We know you're out there. We know you've been waiting for it. And now it's here. USA Adventure Racing, the official sanctioning body of adventure racing, and your key to special interviews from championship racers across the country. Plus tips and preparation ideas for training and listings of adventure races across the United States.
log on, and let the adventure begin. Team High Tech has pulled even with Balance Bar at the SOS Cargo Net for third place. High Tech is first to enter the mud pit as Karen Lundgren leads Paul Romero and new team member Dan Barger. High Tech suffered a terrible crash on their mountain bikes during their pre-race warm-up routine. They lost teammate David Kelly to the crash and Paul and Karen both suffered numerous abrasions. Dan, an experienced adventure racer, filled in at the last minute. You can see just how close Balance Bar still is. Balance Bar and High Tech arrive at the kayaks at the same time. Go Dan, come on Dan. Keep it going buddy, keep it. Women's sports and fitness continues to lead the pack with about a two minute lead. Meanwhile, BMC Software arrives at the SOS Cargo Net in fifth place. On your stomach! Let's go! On. Do not flip the rope over! Get go! Hey! Get lower on the ground! This is the third high-tech adventure racing series for BMC. In Atlanta, they finished a strong third. And in Pennsylvania, they led through the kayak, mountain bike, and trail run, only to be disqualified during the orienteering for splitting up. Nature's Garden continues along in second place and has made up some time on women's sports and fitness. They're only seconds behind as they get ready to portage their kayaks. They must run with their kayaks for about a quarter of a mile over a steep and technical rocky terrain. Women's Sports and Fitness finishes portaging their boats and knows they must hustle in order to maintain their lead. Nature's Garden continues to breed down their neck. Team High Tech finishes portaging their kayaks and remains only minutes behind Nature's Garden. Women's Sports and Fitness nears the end of the kayak section as the sun starts to go down. Team High Tech has emerged as a new leader as they have overtaken both Nature's Garden and Women's Sports and Fitness during the kayak section. The next special test is the Slippery Mountain. At a height of 12 feet and a 45 degree angle, the Slippery Mountain, unlike in Dallas, has been coated with over 50 gallons of Crisco oil instead of Crisco cooking lard, making for even a tougher challenge. Women's Sports and Fitness arrives just seconds later as the battle continues. Bar has made an incredible surge to third place as they seem to be having little trouble with the wall. Balance Bar clears the wall in record time and takes the lead for the first time in the race. <laughs> team High Tech and Women's Sports and Fitness remain dead even as both teams are seriously struggling to get over the wall. 
Nature's Garden joins the party as now it's a three-way race for second place. Tech finally manages to clear the wall with Paul Romero completely exhausted. <laughs> Women's sports and fitness is now dead even with Nature's Garden. Nature's Garden manages to get over the wall first and exits in third place while Women's sports and fitness winds up losing 10 minutes on balance bar. So after two-thirds of the race we have yet another leader. Balance bar is out in front followed by High Tech and Nature's Garden. When we come back, we hit the trail run and the final special test. Looking for something new to do this weekend? Grab a couple of your closest friends and get ready to experience the excitement of the high-tech adventure racing series, the sport of the new millennium. The high-tech adventure racing series combines kayaking, trail running, mountain bike riding, and most importantly, special tests. This three to five hour teamwork challenge is sure to test you and your teammates both physically and mentally. To find out where the High Tech Adventure Racing Series is headed next, check out our website at MESP.com or call for more information. We know you're out there. We know you've been waiting for it. And now it's here. USA Adventure Racing, the official sanctioning body of adventure racing, and your key to special interviews from championship racers across the country. Plus tips and preparation ideas for training and listings of adventure races across the United States. Log on and let the adventure begin. Buildings, antennas, bridge spans, and earth formations. If it's tall and dangerous, base jumpers will take the plunge on the next Adventure Quest. It's only natural instinct for a human being to want to learn to fly. Take a crash course in the basics of surviving a sport that is truly extreme. I'm ready, let's pack and go. Sunday it'll be legal. Base jumping on Adventure Quest. Next Wednesday at 8 on the Outdoor Life Network. The High Tech Adventure Racing Series has been brought to you by Salsa Tequila. The better tequila experience. Fog Dog, your anytime, anywhere sports store. And by Sevlar, a half century of fun and recreation. As the trail run gets underway in the pitch dark, Team Balance Bar is our new leader. Team High Tech is several minutes behind in second place. Nature's Garden continues along in the third position. Nature's Garden has caught up with high tech, and now they are dead even. BMC Software has moved into the number four spot as they push ahead. High tech has once again claimed sole possession of second place. Nature's Garden drops back to third. Ladies and gentlemen, our first place team Coming up our right, they're coming in to the Muse. Team Balance Bar is the first to attempt the Muse special test. The object is to construct a bridge using the three 4x4s and cinder blocks, which are spaced out in four rows at different distances. The racers and 4x4s cannot touch the ground while crossing the Muse. High Tech arrives and applies their pressure to Balance Bar. BMC Software has arrived next, and suddenly there is a three-ray race for the championship. The tension mounts as Balance Bar is on the verge of another close finish. BMC finishes a Muse first and now only has one special test remaining. They must now scale the 13-foot vertical cargo net. Oh, 
BMC Software crosses the finish line in just over three hours and 15 minutes to claim the national championship. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Here you go. Right here, right here, right here. That was awesome. Right here, right here. Good that was going, good. right on. What place we get? Yeah, first. Oh. <laughs> Good job, good job. Thank you, Jen. Awesome, way to go. You deserve that. Michael, Michael, you're the biggest man on earth. Awesome, guys. I think we had that. Meanwhile, Team Balance Bar, knowing BMC has already won, continues to push. A disappointed Balance Bar crosses the finish line in second place, wondering what went wrong. So the final results look like this. BMC Software takes the national championship with Balance Bar second and High Tech in third. Did you expect this to be as hard of a race as it was? Because there were so many twists and turns. You started off with the orienteering, you throw you into the bike, and there's a lot of different things today. We figured it'd be pretty tough just because it's the finals and there's so many good teams here, you know? So uh, we just, I mean, we just focused in on ourselves this time and uh, we didn't worry where we were. We just kind of kept within ourselves and went for it. We just pushed hard, you know? You guys were so surprised at the finish line. Josh, yeah. are we really the winners? <laughs> right, right. We kept getting time checks out there. People saying, you're six minutes back from the lead seven minutes back from the lead. So we come across the line, people are saying we're first. And it, you know, we, just, yeah. we, didn't, we were paying so much attention to the boards that we didn't realize we were passing another team. It's, it's the way it goes. Special tests make or break this race. Indeed, the special tests do make or break these races, which is why the High Tech Adventure Racing Series is so unique. Congratulations to every team who has competed during this spectacular 1999 season, and especially to BMC Software, the last champion of the millennium. Join us next year as the High Tech Adventure Racing Series kicks off the new millennium. Until then, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in 2000.